I'm a 26-year veteran of both the United States Air Force and the Air National Guard, both in Connecticut and in Arizona. 15 years of Air National Guard time and an active duty status, as well as 11 years of active duty. I was, uh, I was in the Connecticut Army National Guard for 18 years. Uh, I was a combat engineer and a bridge crew member and a recruiter and a surveyor. And now I'm a spouse. <laughs> My spouse is overseas. I was an active duty Air Force intelligence officer for 10 years. Um, I graduated from Air Force ROTC uh, in New York City in 2010, and then I came on to active duty as an intelligence officer. I was stationed all over the place. Um, and then as of September 1st of this year, I left active duty and then I transitioned into the Massachusetts Air National Guard as a traditional guardsman, still as an intelligence officer. I joined the military because it was a family tradition at the time. My dad, both his brothers and his sister were retired military personnel. And I'm very glad to carry on the tradition. I happen to be the only other military member in our family. And uh, I joined because I wanted to make a difference. I uh, really enjoyed the lifestyle that the military provided for my family and uh, my father and his, and my aunts and uncles. And I wanted that same thing for my family. So I've really enjoyed the time that I've spent back in 1999, played football for Stony Brook University. Um, at the time, Division I AA athletes weren't really getting scholarships. It was like a need for financial aid or, um, you know, partial scholarship when you're like a senior. Um, and my parents were paying for this and helping me out. So I said, eh, let me just join the Army National Guard. I can go to school free. <laughs> lo, lo and behold, 18 years later, um, you know, I filled my more than my original contract. I'm actually a first generation American, believe it or not, and I was the first person in my family to join the military, so. My road to the decision to join in the military was kind of a long one. My aunt was in the Navy in the 80s. Both my grandfathers were in the military. I am 32 years old, so if you do the math, 9-11 uh, happened when I was in eighth grade. So my whole generation um, was, was very much developed by, by that moment. Um, when I was in high school, I was part of junior ROTC, um, Air Force Junior ROTC, and so I got introduced to the culture of the Air Force and, and the culture of the military as a whole, and I really did enjoy it. But in the end, I actually decided to um, not to join the military and to seek a career in social work instead, because I really wanted to help people. What very much changed that was a good friend of mine who also was very shaped by 9-11, um, but a couple years ahead of me, had joined the Army. And unfortunately, on September 28th, 2005, uh, he was killed in Iraq. And it was actually at his funeral that um, it really struck me, um, not only what he had done, but um, that this career in the military and, and um, the way that you can protect people and be a part of something bigger was something that I really wanted to be a part of. And so it was at that moment at his funeral, um, as they're playing taps and as they're folding the flag, um, that I knew that that is what I wanted to do as a career. all the people that i've met i mean every all the benefits that i've gotten and things like that doesn't trump what uh the people that i've met i've met so many beautiful people in 18 years in the military so that's the biggest thing that i value you know the reason why i uh, joined the military one of the things that attracted me to the military is the idea of being able to help people the first idea of it was that i wanted to be involved in counterterrorism and i was um i was very much involved in that as an intelligence officer um and I got to feel what it was like to make a difference in somebody's life by protecting them. And that was a big deal. Um, but as time went on, as, as I gained rank as an officer, um, I also saw what it was like to help people as a mentor um, or as a leader. Uh, one of the great assignments that I had was teaching ROTC at Penn State. And um, that was an incredibly rewarding experience because I had these students who were future Air Force officers like me and I could shape them and I could mold them and I can talk to them until well in the evening about what their issues were and what their concerns were and I could make a difference in their life and that was amazing. Post University is very supportive of all the veterans and go out of their way to uh, recognize what our services meant to the university and what contributions we make to our students as we follow on that tradition. This Veterans Day, let's just be sure that we uh, thank the veterans for their service and be very cognizant and aware of what they do and the sacrifices they've made. Thanks again.